So we're going to look at writing nuclear reactions and um, the types of nuclear reactions that we have. So we covered nuclear particles already. So in nuclear reactions, we do conservation of mass and charge. So the mass is the left superscripts and the charge is left subscripts. That means on both sides of the reaction arrow, they have to add up to the same number. So we're going to be looking for uh, being able to write these reactions, finding particles that are missing in reactions. So on this one, the question would be uh, write the nuclear reaction for a uranium-235 decaying by alpha production. So I already started writing down the, um, the process here. But um, <clears throat> So we write down the uranium-235, we make sure we're using the atomic number 92. We know alpha is a helium nucleus with a, a charge of two and a mass of four. So we're going to conserve charge. So 90 minus 90, 92 minus two will give us 90. 235 minus four is 231. We look up a uh, 90, and that is thorium. And we can go the opposite direction, make sure it's working. So 231 plus four is 235, 90 plus two is 92. So when uranium 235 decays, we're gonna end up with thorium 231. And uh, so our alpha decay is always gonna be reducing our atomic number by two. So we're always going to be dropping down two on the periodic table. So next one, helium-6 decays by beta emission. So that would be the question to write down helium-6. Our beta particle, we could use the beta symbol or E, either one is good. Um, but uh, the beta is a negative one charge, uh, zero. So you see we're not changing our mass number, so our mass number is still going to be six. So two minus a negative one is three. So go the other way, three minus one is two, that's good. And um, three would be lithium. And uh, beta emission is always going to be increasing our charge, our atomic number by one. So whenever we have beta emission, we get the next element up on the periodic table. Positron emission, so boron-8 decaying by positron emission. So we write down boron-8, positron. So it could be E for electron or B for beta. For beta. Uh, it's going to be positive, though, for positron, not negative for electron. Still mass of zero. So we're not changing our mass number. So it's still going to be eight. So five minus one is four. So that'd be beryllium. And whenever we have positron emission, we decrease one on the periodic table. So we're always decreasing our atomic number by one. Uh, beryllium seven decaying by electron capture. So we haven't covered electron capture. That is not a particle that's being produced. So electron capture means that uh, the nucleus is swallowing up one of its inner core electrons. So the electron is showing up as a reactant, not a product. So electron capture, we got seven plus zero, gives us a mass of seven. Four minus one is three. And uh, that'll be lithium. And um, electron capture and positron emission do the same thing in terms of we're dropping down one less element, one less atomic number. So this uh, is not throwing anything out of the nucleus, apparently. But it normally does. So this is where we, well, 
generally have a gamma emission also. So this process will tend to leave our nucleus a little hot, so it'll tend to give off a gamma emission to take that energy away. So this is another way that we ask questions is find the missing particle. So in this case, we're given the equation with a, a blank in there. And um, it has a gamma here. We need to know the gamma is a zero, zero for charge and mass. So we have 210 minus 206 would be a four. 84 minus 82 is two, and that is the alpha particle. So we have an alpha particle here, and also throwing off the gamma at the same time with the alpha particle. So another type of nuclear reaction that we have is fission, where one nucleus splits up into two. And this can be spontaneous fission or induced fission. So uranium-235 does a little bit of spontaneous fission and responds well to induced fission also. So in, during the fission process, we throw off a couple neutrons. Those neutrons can, can collide with another nucleus and induce the fission again. So this is the basis of our nuclear reactors, current nuclear reactors in this country, this fission reaction based on a self-sustaining self-sustaining chain reaction where some uh, nuclei will split up, throw off some neutrons, which will induce more fission. So in this case, we're looking for the missing daughter um, isotope. So these other reactions that we've looked at have one daughter isotope. So the thorium is a daughter isotope, and this is the radioactive particle. Lithium is the daughter isotope, and beta is the radioactive particle. Over here, we're going to have two daughter isotopes. Um, and this is throwing out more neutrons than it collects, so we're able to have this chain reaction increase and get bigger. Um, so we have, um, I need me calculator here. Okay, so we have uh, 92 plus 3 is 95. Uh, so 235 minus 95, um, 95. So uh, uh, 100 be uh, 135, we add on um, 5 and be 140. Um, so for the charge, which is 92 on the left, we have uh, 36 on the right, be um, 56. This is my head, so go the other direction. So 80, 92, uh, 140 plus 95, 40 plus 90 is 230, 235. Okay, so then we look up 56 on the periodic table. That is barium. So another nuclear process which we don't get here on the Earth easily is fusion. So if fusion occurs with big heavy elements, um, iron is our most stable element. So fusion is not going to be not going to give us any energy except for elements bigger than iron. And generally, we're working with um, plutonium, uranium, or thorium as the elements of choice for fission reactions. For fusion, this occurs in the sun. This is the basis of the sun. This particular reaction is not. Uh, in the sun, we're taking hydrogen and merging into helium. And sometime in the future, when hydrogen runs short in the sun, way beyond humans then, uh, then it's going to start to do this reaction of fusion heating together. And uh, but that will create a red giant. The sun will swell up and swell the earth and we will no longer be here. So in this case, uh, we see that we're forming a beryllium. We're throwing off something else. So what's that something else? Well, we check our numbers. So 2 plus 2 minus 4 is 0. 
four plus four is eight minus eight is zero. So the only thing that we're throwing off here is gamma radiation. So we're fusing these two nuclei together and I throw off energy in the form of gamma radiation. So two more reactions here of find the missing particle. So here we have bismuth 185 turning into lead 184. So we have um, 83 minus 82 is one. 185 minus 184 is one. So positive charge of one, mass of one, means that we deal a proton. So this is a proton emission reaction. This is not common, but we do have a couple of proton emission reactions out there. And then last one, magnesium 39 turning into magnesium 38. So the mass numbers, the charge numbers are the same. So zero, we have uh, one less here, so one. So charge of zero, mass of one would be a neutron. So this is a neutron emission reaction. And again, this is a rare reaction. So proton emission, neutron emission by themselves are rare. Neutron emission with fission is more common, but fission is not. Um, we usually help fission to occur by enriching it to make it occur. And fusion, we're desiring to make fusion reaction to get energy. Um, and it's more money is going into that nowadays, uh, more private money going into studying fusion reactions. Uh, but we still have no sight of making fusion reaction a um, profitable venture uh, yet. 